to update my family on this platform on the Oromoni's case until justice is said. One of the accused has exonerated himself from the evil. Make I take on a throw the details. Buruji's Kashamu's son has no hand in Oromoni's death, says family. Hello, my amazing family. I finished school at 20. But God's clarity and purpose at 35, only four years ago. What I did in the 15 years period is not what matters. What I do going forward does. Still discovering and evolving. You cannot wear a wristwatch and be asking for time from someone else. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is the first time. Thank you. The family of Boroji Kashamo, the late senator, has dismissed claims that Adewale Kashamo, son of the deceased, had a hand in the death of Sebester Oromonis Jr. Oromoni, the 12-year-old student of Dowen College, died a few days ago after he was allegedly attacked by some senior colleagues for refusing to join a court group. The student was said to have mentioned the late lawmaker's sons alongside four other students before he died. But in a statement signed by Mutario Kashamo, Adewale's family said he did not beat or bully Oromoni as alleged. According to the family, Adewale knew Oromoni in his first section at the college, during which he served as a school father as requested by the late boy's sister, who happens to be a student of the school. The family said Adewale's interaction with Oromoni reduced in 2021 academic session after it was moved to a different floor in the boarding house. The statement said Adewale was not aware of the alleged beating of the deceased that eventually led to his death. The family added that their son saw Oromoni earlier in November limping. The statement said Adewale thought that he was injured while playing football and advised him to visit the school's clinic. It also claimed that all the students who knew about Oromoni's leg injury testified that he was injured during a football section with his colleagues. The family said its final delay on the incident was to enable it to conduct a proper check before reacting to the insults coming its way since the news of Oromoni's death broke. Since the news of the unfortunate incident broke, we have made our own private inquiries and carefully questioned our son about his involvement, the statement reads. This is why we did not rush out to respond to the cyber stalking, name calling and negative commentaries that have taken over the social media about our son's alleged involvement in the sad incident. The family enjoyed the public to await the outcome of investigation by the legal state government and the police before arriving at a conclusion on what led to Oromoni's death. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. We we'll feel and can relate to the pains of the Oromoni family and all those genuinely concerned about this unfortunate incident, it added. That is why we wish to express our readiness to cooperate with the parents of the deceased, the police, the Lagos State Government, and other relevant stakeholders to get to the root of this matter so that the cause of justice will not only be saved but manifestly seen to have been saved. However, 
it is regrettable that of the five names that were mentioned in relation to the incident, it is only Kashamu's name that seems to ring a bell. Consequently, the family and his late patriarch, Senator Boroji Kashamu, of blessed memory, have been the butt of irresponsible, falsehood-based, and unwarranted attacks, even when the full details of the incident are not yet known. There is no denying that the fact that Adewale Maike Kashamu is one of the children of the late Senator Boroji Kashamu, but no family or parent will send a child to school to be involved in any form of crime or criminality. Just like no parent would be happy to be informed that a child he or she sent to school to learn has been molested or killed under any guise. That is why we wish to appeal for restraint on all sides. The cyberbullying of our family will not help in any way to solve the bullying in schools that society through the ages has desired to stop. On our part, we have continued to engage our son Adewale Maike Kashamo and he has continued to maintain his innocence. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. What can I say? So many thoughts are running through my head. But at this point, we all need to be careful. I will point accusing fingers. But if truly a dying child mentioned your name, that means there's a little bit of truth from that. Because before Oromoni mentioned your name, it was at the point of death. So, it's either the boy is a hardened courtist or the family are not telling the truth about the role it played in the death of the young lad, despite witness from students who were there. Because I believe with such accusation, out of fear, he must have told his family what happened and they told him to deny. But justice will surely be said, money cannot cover this. Because I am not surprised. Is it not the same Boroji Kashamu that was involved in drug-related offenses in the USA? When the Interpol wanted to pick him up, he locked himself in the toilet and refused to come out, who later died of the Korokoro 19 last year. Because the apple cannot fall far from the tree. Someday soon, the truth will surely prevail. I hope you are not aiding and abetting for your son. Why was his name mentioned among the other four? Something is definitely a king. All I know is that the police are also involved in covering this up. What will it take the police to pick up the boys mentioned and interrogate them separately? If the boy truly mentioned Adewale's Kashemu as one of those courtes that dealt with him before he gave up, then why are they denying? Do they expect Adewale to just accept he is involved? But if the boy in question is culpable, will the family come in the open to admit? The government should do their best in unraveling the circumstances surrounding the innocent boy's dismiss. And I will end by saying, many have perished in prison for what they don't know about. Let the government and police investigate properly. They should hold the boy if the boy is involved. He should face the dance, but people should not conclude yet. Let him remain in police custody. I have seen many innocent people today destroyed. Only time will tell. Please, if you are new here, there is a bell at the right or left hand. Please just click on it for more updates. And most importantly, tell a friend to tell a friend about Thunderwaves Media. God bless. Bye-bye.